So many interesting things is happening right now. Bitcoin first after CFTC issue crypto exchange Binance for allegedly breaking trading rules. It's not just only Bitcoin, the whole crypto market started tumbling after the news, but the biggest hit was definitely taken by bnb coin yes guys bnb retraced more than seven percent from yesterday so the question here is has this news created fear in the market and what is going to happen next will the price hold this support which is still have around twenty seven thousand, or is it also going to break until the end of this day so as you can already see guys we are going to talk about all of this scenario one by one so before i jump into the content first thing first destroy that like button and those individuals watching you the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell so if you have been following me for a while you guys saw it coming i mean the price of bitcoin after breaking the support from this lower trend line started showing this retracement but yesterday i was very clear in the medium short term there might be some retracement there might be some pullback price testing the key line of support one more time before choosing a trend duration and only trade i mean the bigger danger is only when we break below 25,000 support line but for now this 27,000 range where we are hovering is also definitely one of the most important support in the media short term because according to the diamond top once the support on 27,000 gets broken right we could be slowly heading towards the next area or the price opportunity from this diamond top which is around 25,000 to 25,500 range and it's not just only the target from this diamond top but also if we look at the price opportunity from this rising wedge yes yesterday i showed you that in the medium short term 27,000 could be retested but we are definitely not allowed to close below it we did manage to come across 27,000, but now the price is fighting around this 26,900, 27,000 range so what i want you guys to understand if the price of bitcoin closes the daily candle below 27,000 today then we have to be careful because in that case the price could be getting gravitated towards the price objective from this rising wage which is around 25,500 and also the price of from this diamond top because we know guys we know if the price does shows a retracement around this 25,000 range it doesn't necessarily mean the trend is actually going to reverse like this because there are still a very strong line of support acting around that area even if you look at this in a very simple way by using this broadening wedge or megaphone pattern according to this megaphone pattern even if the price here breaks the support on 27,000 range right let's say this 27,000 support gets broken today and price closes the daily below it then we know it could be signaling a reversal towards the lower trend line because in the past price action this lower trend line has acted as a strong line of support and if we do see another retracement like this before choosing a price movement in this manner you can see this lower trend line is also sitting around 25,000 range. So that's why 25,000, 25,500 definitely makes sense if the price loses the support around 27 today. And now let me show you why this 27,000 support right now is so important for us because this 27,000 was the line of resistance in the past price action. Yes, and this is exactly where we are holding right now the previous temporary race line is acting as a support on 27,000 that's why this daily needs to hold above 27,000 range if you want to invalid the bearish scenario in the media short term because if we do close below 27,000 then we know 25,000 could be looked as our next potential target and even the bullish broadening top is going to be invalid and now let me show you with another example why the support on 27,000 is so important so what i'm going to do here in a four hour time frame i am going to simply add this rising trend line yes guys this rising trend line as you can see is acting as a strong line of support whenever the price has shown a retracement around this rising trend line we have seen a very nice relief rally type of movement so what i'm going to do i am going to add another trend line rising trend line here to the upside because it was a line of resistance right we can see that very clearly so what i'm trying to pinpoint here if we lose the support or if the price closes below 27,000 today then we are also going to lose the support from this 
a sending channel and in that case you can see this will turn the price of bitcoin very very bearish so that's why according to this ascending channel 27000 is definitely a must hold support line according to this broadening top the upper line 27000 is a must hold support in the media short term and also if we look at this using a symmetrical triangle type of formation yes guys this symmetrical triangle lower line is also clearly indicating hey if the price wants to continue this uptrend after this retracement then this is the perfect time i mean if we lose the support below this trend line it is going to be invalid but if we do find support then we can still look at this in this way i mean bullish symmetrical triangle if we break out of this upper trend line but if we break below the lower trend line then we know this bullish scenario is going to be invalidated as well so that's why our key focus right now is definitely going to be around 27,000 support in the media short term but in the bigger picture if we lose that then 25,000 to 25,500 is going to be looked as our next upcoming target for bitcoin and now let me show you why the price of bitcoin could still surprise most of us yesterday if we have watched my video i showed you with this bullish pennant even if the price in the media short term breaks the support from this lower trend line what could be playing out i mean the price after this bearishness could still continue like this if you have watched my video from yesterday this is exactly what i said and now combining with this symmetrical triangle you can see the reason why because this lower line around 17,000 is still acting as one of the strongest line of support for bitcoin so in the merely short term if we do manage to remain over 27,000, even the pennant this bullish pennant could still favor the longs so after liquidating the over leverage longs it could be starting this new impulsive movement to liquidate the over leverage shorts but in a bigger picture if you look at this price structure you can see why 25,000 matters a lot for us and why that line is not allowed to break because 25,000 is the neckline from this inverse head and shoulder and if we do see any sort of a retracement like this before price shows any bullish movement towards the price objective around 30,000 33,000 range then it is going to be looked as a retest just like as shown in example retest from this neckline area before price turning bullish again another example would be the falling trend line breakout we have already started this uptrend and just like as shown here in an example you can see after the breakout there could be some possible retest a price coming back to test the key line of support before again slowly hitting towards the upside so that's why 25,000 will make sense if the price of bitcoin loses the support around 27,000 even the 200 weekly moving average is going to be looked as our strong line of support around 25,500 range so you can see guys in the media short term 27,000 support is not allowed to break but if it does then 25,000 25,500 will be looked as our next potential target for bitcoin so this were some of the quick updates that i wanted to share with you in today's video if you enjoyed my work then please guys destroy that like button and for those individuals watching this for the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell now by saying this i'm signing out my name is anu bye bye